everyone, this is Teresa with Homeschool Primer, and today we are using Apologia General Science to complete an experiment 2.3 on the surface tension of water. These are the materials that you're going to need. Paper towel, penny, a dropper, you're going to need dish soap, doesn't have to be this kind, any dish soap will work. You need a small glass and then a larger glass and some water. This is just a pitcher of water. All right, let's begin. After you wash your penny, you're going to dry it on a paper towel. So just make sure, just get it real good and dry. Then you're going to put it here. We're going to fill our drinking glass with water. That is full. And now we're gonna keep our penny here. Hopefully everyone can see it. Use our dropper to grab some water here. And we're gonna count how many drops can actually stay on the penny. So let's do that, and we're gonna keep track of how many drops. We're at 15, 16, 17, whoop, right at 17. Okay, fantastic. Now we're gonna continue doing that. We're gonna clean off the penny, and then we're gonna do it again. We're gonna see how many drops we get again. This is for the second time. How many drops? Actually, it was 2, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Oh, 25. We got more that second time around. So let's dry it off again and try one more time. All right, this is our third time. Let's see how many drops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24. Fantastic. We got all around, about around the same, around you know, a couple drops more here and there. So now what we're going to do, we're going to dry off this penny and we are gonna put some liquid soap in this small glass right here. And then we're gonna add enough water just to make it you know, a little bit thinner consistency. And then we're gonna test it out with the soapy water. So let me put this water back. Okay, now we're gonna put some soap in this small glass here. You can just move this guy out of the way. Let's pour some of our water in here. Okay, and it says you can stir it too, so I'm gonna get a spoon and stir it. All right, get a gentle stir. Okay, now we're gonna dip the penny into the soapy water. Okay, once you dip the penny in the soapy water, we're gonna place it back here on the table. And now, let's get some water. Let's see, can you guys see this? We're gonna get some more water for a dropper. And let's see how many drops we can put on the penny. One, two, three, four, five. Oop. I think that's only like five or six there because it just started rolling off and moving. So let's give it a shot. Let's try. 
Let's try again. Let's dry off our pen. I mean, do we dry off our penny? That's the question. We do not dry off our penny. We just repeat the steps. Okay. Actually, we do dry off our penny. Let's do that. And then we're going to dip it back in the soapy water. Dip it in the soapy water. And let's see how many drops will stay on the surface of the penny. One, two, three. Oh no, it's, it's already off of the penny. Okay. So what do we notice everyone? The dry penny actually held many more drops than the soapy wet penny. So this is surface tension because water has a unique property of surface tension. And that has a tendency to do with the um, individual water molecules that stay together. So you can see with the soapy, when it was soapy here, they're just sliding right off. So there's not a lot of tension here. So um, it made a mound on top of the penny when it was dry and we just had the water and we placed the water droplets on top. When it was soapy, not the case. So this is surface tension of water, experiment 2.3. Thanks for joining us and subscribe to our YouTube page for more.